sounds. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Almost Rich, Almost Famous with Bats and Bridge. Bats, I have to say it's so nice sitting next to you with a margarita in hand in our new look of Almost Rich, Almost Famous. You guys, this time last week, we weren't even speaking. Like, not only were we not speaking, we were not even looking each other in the eye. I wasn't even looking at your Instagram stories. I know you weren't. All right, so why don't you, so Bridget and I, oh, like, as everyone knows, we're very different people, yes. right? Like, we're just literally completely different, like opposite ends of the spectrum. And we've had some like tiffs here and there, but nothing compared to this fight we just had. We, it was probably a three to four full days of no contact. Nope. I didn't know what she was doing with her life. Nope. Didn't care to reach out to find out what she was doing with her life. Same. I was so upset at her. And I was, I was really hurt by you. I, I think, like, well, like, you know, I you don't think. How, you know how when, like, parents say, like, I, I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. Mm -hmm. That was, like, a dagger to the heart. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. I'm like, I'm not mad at her. Was I sad? Yes. I was just, I was really hurt. Okay. Well, I felt the same. I was very disappointed myself. So why don't you, why don't you give your version of the story first? Okay. Because I think it's only fair at this point to allow both of us the platform yeah. to get it out there. Okay. So, you know, I'm a long storyteller, so I'll try to keep it concise. That would, as that would be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Betsy and I have plans together on a Friday evening. Now, it is more so her friends that were planning this, but of course, I, they're my friends now because. Okay, you're getting too granular. Yeah, but like, that's fine. Just like. Okay. Remember? Okay. So, I have like a lot going on, but I'm like, well, no, I wanna go because I wanna be around Betsy and I wanna do this. Didn't really work out in my schedule, so I like rearranged my whole schedule. And I'm like, all right, well, first of all, I don't wanna go by myself. So it would be great if I went with Betsy, but Betsy's always driving me around. She's basically my Uber driver. What can I do to help? And I'm like, great, I will schedule a meeting that it'll work out, that it'll be near her neighborhood. I'll drive us, I'll do this. Okay, so I tell Betsy this the night before and she's like, great, that sounds amazing. So I have a horrible Friday. Nothing's going my way. Everyone's being mean. Everyone is like not accommodating to anything. It would help me out in my work. So I, I'm complaining to her on the way to my meeting. And then she says, well, why don't you just like get out of that meeting a little early and then we can go and have a drink beforehand, which was very nice. It was like, I think you just need a stress reliever. Let's go have a margarita beforehand. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the time and I'm like, all right, well, this is like a partner meeting. It's work. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. And I'm like, but my goal is to get out of there at 6.30. So we're there. My phone's flipped over. I'm having a legit meeting. Mind you, I'm talking about almost rich, almost famous the whole time. So I'm like, let me just check to see if Betsy's texting me. And it's 6.02 and she had texted me like 15 minutes prior and said, hey, why don't you come pick me up at six? Then we can go have a margarita before we got to get to where we are. And I'm like, mm, well, I'm going to be about like 10, 15 minutes because I just saw this. This is the part. Oh, Stab oh, dagger. I heart. mean, literally, if this is the worst thing that's happened in your whole life, like shit's pretty good. She replies, okay, no, no, but let me, let me give you background context. <laughs> is it context? Yeah. Yeah. She knows that like saying K to me is like basically saying, fuck you, you bitch. Like I, I and I, I put that out there. Like, I don't know why, but it's one of those things when people send me a K, it's just like, okay, like you're really just trying to like piss me off. So she does it and I'm sitting there thinking, I said 10, 15 minutes, I'm going out of my way. I'm trying to make this all work. I'm trying to drive us. Like, you're really going to give me that? And I was like, or you can just like go without me thinking she'd be like, no, it's fine. 10, 15 minutes, not big of a deal. And she said, yep, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. And I said, okay, have fun. Like thinking like that, like me saying I'm not going. She just likes it, turns off her notifications, and 72 hours go by, we didn't speak another word. All right. I didn't show up for party either. <laughs> she didn't show up. Um, so I actively didn't turn off notifications, by the way. That was not something that happened. I think that was for dramatics for the podcast. That didn't actually happen. No, because after you liked it, and I was about to like reply to it, I'm like, really, Betsy? And then it says, Betsy, please. It says, silence her notifications. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck her then. I'm out of here. And I did. Okay, well, I didn't do that. Well, Actually, that, my eyes filled up with water, and I said, I'm sorry, I have to go. And I went back to my apartment, drank and cried, and was, like, so upset. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so that's not um, my version of the story, but I respect your version <laughs> of the story. And, and as oh, I, I've yeah. done, I've done in the past, I've apologized for making you feel badly. Yes. Okay. I appreciate that. But, again, um, that was not, that had nothing to do with what I was trying to do. I was hungry. I said I was going to help. I told her I'd be there by 6.30, like. Didn't tell me any of this, did, by the way. So I think our communication was probably a little off, which we have rectified and we've said next time, you know, like we're in a relationship, yeah. like 
Well, next time our communication needs to be a little bit more clear. Yeah. But if I wanted to say, fuck you, bitch, I would have said, fuck you, bitch. K does not equal fuck you, bitch. But you, you knew by no, saying K just to me. Like, like, it was knew. like, I was like hungry and annoyed, like K. Like I'm in a rush, I'm doing a lot. Like I'm not thinking about everyone else's feelings in this moment, I'm fucking hungry. K, and, see you soon, see you soon. <laughs> and then, wait, no, 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 I'm still telling my part. And then to say like, all right, well just go and not like I'll meet you or whatever. Okay, cool. I'm an adult, shit, fuck, I'll go, I'll meet you there. Like, it's fine, it's not a big deal. And your version of this, I see I'm getting all heated again. And your version of the story was just like, I was being a total asshole when it wasn't what I meant. I didn't mean to be an asshole. I was just saying, okay, see you there. And, and Betsy's, um, one of your great personality trait of yours is, I am going to do what I want and I can't help it that, like upsets you because mm -hmm. like it's my life and I want to be happy I'm not going to accommodate to everyone which for me I do that a lot and I need to like get better at it and so this but in this instance it was like well that's it's like me and you and like I don't, I don't this isn't my like number one friend like I it's a, an acquaintance well she's my friend now too but like you know what I'm saying like I didn't want to show up alone anyways and I'm like I'm, I purposely made my schedule so like I could go with you and also I'm usually the hangry one and so it was like well I'm hungry but like, well now you know how I feel. She's like, okay, you can't just be mean because you're hungry. You always tell me that. And I'm like, Yeah, okay, but you've so gotten a lot of times that you've gotten to be mean because you were hungry. So it was my and, one time to say, to too. say, so hey, like, oh, you know, it's it. just, I think it's like one of those times that you have to like agree to disagree. Yeah. Like I thought the way I handled it was appropriate. You thought the way you handled it was appropriate. I said, K, you were very passive aggressive, which you tend to do sometimes. You were a passive aggressive sneaker in her, and you know when it. When I said have fun, that was my only time. Because after that, I was like, okay, just go by your thing. No, no, no. Yeah, I did. No, no, no. I pulled up. No, no, no. You said to me, LOL. Nope. Yes, you did. Look. No, when I you said, said ha, ha. No, no, no. Look back at the text. Look okay, back okay, at it. Find it right now. We've texted a lot. You said since something then. crazy, like, okay, ha, ha. No one wants to ever accommodate me, so I guess just go have fun. Okay. No, I, the, the and that's what I, I did. And I had a lovely time. I was sad that you weren't there, but I had a lovely time because I just do not enjoy passive aggressiveness. It really well, irritates. Like, hey. I was like, oh, okay. And you're like, well, I'm hungry, I wasn't so passive I'm aggressive. Like, I think we're getting in a fight all over again. The moral of the story is we're so different in every aspect of life. And so for me, like if I'm really pissed at someone, and it's, I don't even, I can't even tell you the last time I sent someone K because it's the equivalent of saying, <laughs> fuck you. Like I would just never do it, especially to someone I love so much. Yeah. So that's me. But then my way of also like, all right, I'm not going to go to the route of like, K, I hate you, but like, okay, you're pissing me off. Like, hmm, okay, well, why don't you just yeah. go then? Like, and that's my yeah. passive aggressiveness. So like, if K's not it for you, like, what is it that like, oh, if you say that to me, like, we're done. So I feel like I go back and forth. Like, if somebody's like, okay, you're a fat bitch, oh. I'm like, oh shit, fuck. Like, okay. Oh. Like, like if somebody says to me, you're ugly, I'm like, that was cute. Like, good one. <laughs> like, like you could, you could really call me like a fucking bitch. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Like I am like, bitch. No way. If that's, if I ever, if I ever texted you, like you're a fucking bitch, like you would, you would go the silent I, treatment. That, on no, me. I wouldn't. I'm tell. I'm believe me, Sonny's done it. Oh, like you're he, a fucking bitch, and I. No, he doesn't say you're acting. You know, people like in the movies try to yeah. make that like distinction. Like, oh, you're acting like a fucking bitch. Like it's the same thing as you're a fucking bitch, <laughs> and and it's true, and it's fine, and and I've I I know that about myself. Okay, so what is it? Do you have like the one like okay? Like, does Sonny know a trigger? Like I want to let Betsy know that I am very upset at her and I want to hurt her, so I'm going to say this. No, because we don't have that relationship where we say things to each other to hurt each other. Yeah. However, back in my younger days, uh -huh. if I said to Sunny, which I haven't done in a long, 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 long time, but if I say, you're a little bitch, oh. I've probably said it like twice. In and it's home. because he's a guy. In like 20 years, by the way. It, it's because he's a guy. He doesn't take to that well yeah and isn't it sad that like now when girls get called bitches like oh good one like, like cool. great like uh -huh. they get called it so much about like strangers by like 
friends, by ex-boyfriends, like, oh, cool. Like, I call myself on my Instagram name. Like, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's like, Betsy I said it, like, I took, I literally took the objection away from you yeah. immediately. Like, you, you can't say that. I already said it about myself. What is the one thing that if people say to you, you lose your shit? Okay. <laughs> but it's, like, true. And, and like, like I, I think in this, I think in this situation, I, I knew Kay annoyed you, but it wasn't like, I didn't understand that it was like it. Like, what if I would have given you a thumbs up, like a yellow thumbs up? Well, that's pretty bad too. Is that the same? Yeah. Is that equal. equivalent? E equal. Yes. So y what if it was a tan? Like if I was tan, if it was a well, tan thumbs like, okay, up. Why are you, why are you, you're trying to annoy me. Why are you doing but that? But it doesn't, it's not as bad as the yellow yeah. thumbs up yeah. or the K. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to think of like a name or a specific thing. Like I hate when, I don't know. That's a good question. If somebody says about me, I always think about this. If somebody were to say about me behind my back, oh, like she's blah. Ooh. Like I like don't care. Like, I don't know. I like don't know her. Or I don't care. If somebody said I was boring, I think yeah. that would actually be the most annoying out of anything. Do you know what annoys me? It's mainly like us together in our lifestyle brand what? of Almost Rich, Almost yeah, Famous. Yeah, it is, a, it is when, a lifestyle brand. When people, when we're like, oh yeah guys, we're going to this like huge event. People are like, yeah, but there's like a million of you guys, so how are you gonna stand oh. out? Oh, oh, there is. There's like another like six foot like tall girl with like her like beautiful co-host and like it's really funny and like really cool. There, there is. There's a million of us. That's so weird. Never, never seen them. Never who, anywhere. Who has said that? Have people said that to you? Yes. Like yeah, that's like, actually true. Yeah. I like some of the people like we are close with. Like, well, why would you guys go there when there's going to be a million of others of you? I'm like, hmm, that's pretty interesting. Well, you know, I actually love that because this is really this podcast today. We're going off track of the. We're not talking about sex today. We're talking about a whole bunch of different yes. shit. So we're not yes. just that brand. No, I can't believe you just gave them a plug. That was stupid. I know. Drop, bleep that out. <laughs> Like, as soon as you said it, I'm like, are we going to get in another fight that you just call out another podcast like that on our own podcast? Um, hey. All right. So, you know, this is something I've been wanting to talk to you about. You know who is somebody that doesn't matter what they say, they keep fucking getting girls all day, every day. Like, it doesn't matter. They could be, like, sending LOL, K to people all day. They keep impregnating people. Well, Okay. I don't know if that means like they're like people we've, like them. But. We've talked about this guy. Well, obviously people like this dude. We've talked about him significantly recently. Well, I don't know if it's they like him, his personality, and how he treats. It might just be his go, what? Go back to that photo. What? What about that photo? I thought we weren't talking about sex today. We're not, but what? Uh -huh. <laughs> no other than the, Nick Cannon. The, 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 the elephant trunk. No. <laughs> No, okay, that was it. That was the only time we're talking about dicks on uh, this podcast I said today. I didn't even say it. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. So Nick Cannon, speaking of that trunk, baby number motherfucking eight. And all different, eight. All different eight. moms. All di well, I mean, he has like two, 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 and two. So four. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's discuss this. Nick Cannon has four different baby's mothers. Mariah Carey, number one. <laughs> Started, started pretty hot. See, that's the problem with this whole thing. Yeah. Like, what'd you think you were going to do after Mariah? Yeah. There isn't sure, there's nowhere and to they go. They like, seem legit because they were married, they had twins. Yep. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm scrolling through Instagram a couple of years later, and I'm like, well, my friend that was Miss Arizona when I was Miss Ohio, she's having a kid with Nick Cannon? Like, what, what Mariah to Miss Arizona? And, and good, she's beautiful, super nice, but yep. I was like, Damn. I mean, there's nowhere to go but down for Mariah. No, for, like, for real. There really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with Mariah, he has Moroccan and Monroe. With your friend, Miss USA. Yeah. Arizona. Yeah. Arizona. She has Golden Saigon. Ooh. And my favorite, Powerful Queen. No, is that like first name, like middle name? Uh-huh. Power. So they call her like Powerful? Well, I don't know what they call her. Powerful when she's, like, when she's <laughs> like, what, 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 she gets in trouble. Powerful Queen! <laughs> Get over here. Time out. Like, I feel like I'm well, I don't know. That's your friend. You should ask her. Um, next girl has Zion Mixolydian and Zillion Air. Zillion, like billion, but Zillion Air. And then next he has this Alyssa Scott's Zen baby that passed away, Oops. which is really sad. And then next 
He has a baby on the way, but this is my favorite part of this whole thing. He has a baby on the way with no other than ex-favorite Cleveland quarterback, Johnny Manziel's <laughs> ex-wife. I don't think I'd ever put Johnny Manziel and favorite quarterback in the same sentence. Oh, really? Well, I thought yeah. people really liked him. I think for like one moment when we drafted him. And uh, that was during the it. draft, people fucking yeah. love that dude. Yeah. Anyway, so now this woman's having his kid. It's his eighth child. I didn't know Johnny Manziel was even married. So he's he was married, got divorced, and now she, that ex-wife of Johnny Manziel is having a kid with Nick Cannon. Correct. Number eight. So I think it really yeah. begs the question. I feel like we need Nick Cannon on the podcast. I, I do too. I, we they really need to break down. I have what, so I just on. have so many questions for yeah. him. Like I mean, my main question is like, when you have a new kid, do you make this child call all four of these other women mom? Like, do, like, are you to, like powerful are, queen is going to get so confused. <laughs> Zillionaire is not going to know what to do with herself, himself. I don't know if it's a boy or a fucking girl. It's very weird. Would you ever... Okay, so you meet the love of your life. Yeah. And he looks like Liam Hemsworth. Mm. And he has eight kids mm. with four mothers. But he is wonderful. He's wonderful. He wants to have baby he, number nine with me. He has like an insane body. He makes a whole bunch of money. He is super successful. Like funny he too. he's funny. Oh. I mean, he's Doesn't literally say K. he never has said K in his life. He literally has it all, including a lot of kids. <laughs> Do you give him a chance? I think I'd have to like really break down all the questions. Like what? Like, like what? Like what? What? Like so what? For instance, so Miss Arizona. So I'm yeah. looking at her Instagram. I'm like, I don't see any other kids besides her too. Nick Cannon's not even a lot of photos. Like, so does he just like spread his time? Like, okay, one weekend I would be with like this family and my two kids with this mom. The next weekend here, like, do these kids even know each other? Either way, I don't think I could do it because it's just that's just too messy. Like, I if I were gonna if I wanted kids and wanted my own family, I want it to be my own. You can't just be like bouncing around to like all the different. Okay, I moms. agree. I understand. I mean, I would probably choose the same thing, but if he says like, okay, one day a month we have to have all eight babes to our house and you need to host like it's the only time you have to see them once a month that seems like a lot that's 12 times a year <laughs> it's actually true yeah I just feel like there are so many questions involved in this like you know I know I'm picky and like you know you're, you know, you are you know I hate the question of like oh my god why are you single or how are you single I'm like well I don't know maybe I choose to be well it's like for things like this I don't know like, okay, you're not tall enough. you got too many kids. Why do you think he's not tall? I think we talked about this. He's six foot. That's not tall. Okay. All right. Like, I also wonder, like, so his two oldest kids with Mariah. So, like, when you're, like, a kid, and, and my parents have been together. I've been very lucky to have my parents be together my whole life and yours, too. But, like, fuck, Dad. <laughs> Cut it out. Like, like, why do you keep doing this? You're, like, embarrassing well, us. And it's like, okay, if he's not with any of these women anymore, great. And you just want to go have a whole bunch of sex, great. Do you want more kids or why wouldn't you just get fixed? You got the money, like you can take a couple of weeks off and get a, what is it called, bisectomy, hysterectomy? No, it's the woman one. I'm Bi sorry, what'd you call it first? Bisectomy. Bisectomy. What is it really called? What is it, Bats? Come on. It's a vasectomy. Vasectomy. You know, wait, did I call it vasectomy? You called it a bisectomy, like bisexual, but bisectomy. Okay, I'm going off in a little tangent real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're growing up and you take family living class because you're learning about sex? Yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so I know I went to a Catholic school and I come home and they give that uncomfortable conversation with your parents and they're like, so what did you learn in family living today? And my mom loves to tell this story. My response was, well, I don't know. They're just teaching us like in German. So I didn't really get it. My mom's like, German? Huh. She's like, oh, really? So like what kind of words? Oh my words? God, your mom hates you. <laughs> She's, She's like, looking at you like, what? She's like, German words, huh? Like, can you give me an example? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I didn't understand what they were talking about. And I was like, like vagina <laughs> and penis. My mom's like, vagina. I'm like, yeah. Like I don't know. And so then my dad has to have the conversation with me, totally separate. Like, so what did you learn in school today? And I'm like, yeah, a bunch of German words and vagina. My dad almost fell out of his chair. Like, do you, do you mean what? do you mean what? vagina? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe. Why did you think this is German? Like, do you know German? Like, why would you like? Why? I mean, they had to have said it at somewhere in the family living class. Like, it, it comes from German origin or something i don't know but like, once i get one thing in my head like my little like fifth, fifth grade your own brain i thought that so then this is the best part my dad's like wait do you mean vagina and i was like oh i thought it was vagina. he's like no it's but i'm like 
well, that's like pretty, like Veronica, Victoria, vagina. Like I want to name my kid that. My dad's like, oh God. <laughs> and he's a cat. Can you get in here and like help? So I get it that I called it like a Maj bisectomy. Magina and Magina and vasectomy. <laughs> Those are your Nick Cannon twins. <laughs> he does seem to like have kids in two. Oh my God, vagina <laughs> and bisectomy. God, what a beautiful name. Wow, the beautiful children. Wow. Right, right along with powerful queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. Well. So, so back to the given. If he, if he wants to have a bunch of sex, great. Get the whatever the thing is called. Okay, it's called a vasectomy. And most, so this is really painful for me. I need to tell this story. And like, I'm a little upset about it. I'm not gonna give away names, but there is somebody that has been like a dad figure in my life who we actually all know, who got a vasectomy at one point. Like I was, well, he was my boss. And I had to know about his vasectomy because he was out for several days. Yeah. And it was so painful for me, like the fact that I had to know that something happened to him down there and that he like came to meetings following that was really painful for me. Like it was just something that I wasn't into. I mean, all they doing was just making sure that he can't have kids anymore. I know, but like, what do you do? Do you ask somebody like, hey, how are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> like what? Like True, true. And then you know like, oh, that means you're still having a lot of sex because why else ew. would you get it? Why else would you get it? Ew, that sex, is so. Need it. Like, well, they can't, they can't produce a kid anyways. But not having sex. I wonder what actually is like the statistic about guys because you know they're reversible. I know. I'm trying to think if I know anyone that's gotten it reversed. Oh, I do. You do? Oh. And it worked? Yeah, because they're old dudes who like married like old ladies and had a whole bunch of kids and then got divorced and started new lives. Yeah. And wanted to have other kids. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't even know. I don't think I want to be a stepmom. I don't know if I want to date a guy that's had a vasectomy and like gets it reversed. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm into any of that. Well, then you're going to have slim pickings. Didn't we have, like, didn't we like talk about you were going to have like a segment on this show where you like told us about like a new date you went on every week? I know. I've been slacking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've really been trying to figure out our Almost Rich, Almost Famous journey recently. It's a lifestyle brand. It's uh, yeah. It, to, to quote um, a guest of ours, breaking news. <laughs> All right, so tell them then. Um, Almost Rich, Almost Famous is no longer just a podcast, you guys. It is a lifestyle brand. And by the that lifestyle of being almost rich and almost famous, soon to drop the almost. And soon to be at a bunch of big events. Oh, I thought you were going to Well, I was, and then you looked at me crazy, and so, like, I didn't. See, we do this, like, whole podcast prep where we discuss what we're going to say, and then we discuss, like, the flow of the show, and I specifically asked, are we going to give, like, the big news? She said, no, 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 save it. We'll do it. We'll do it when it's closer to the big events. And here she was, just about to drop the news. All right, well, do you want to? Yeah. Okay. On. So, um, all, the Almost Rich, Almost Famous Lifestyle brand will be at Super Bowl 2022. Oh, I thought you were going to say 2022. I'm like, no, it's actually Super Bowl 56, but keep going. Super Bowl 56. Do you know what the numbers are? Mm -mm. Super Bowl 56. And also, we will be here at All Star Game in Cleveland doing a whole bunch of fun shit. A lot of great content. So the Super Bowl, that's the one I'm like really looking forward to because... I might finally meet my guy. Literally, she told a story today. She was telling somebody that we were going to Super Bowl and she was like, yeah, and like, I can't wait. And this is normal. This is like legit too. She's like, I can't wait to be behind the scenes. I'd be like, yeah, Slim, get out there. Like, like, um, I'm an, like Slim Shady. I was like, yeah, I don't know so if he you, like answers that, but. What do you think you'd prefer? Bee Rabbit or Slim? It doesn't matter. We're going to find out pretty soon. That's true. Um, will you hide from me if I go up to him and yes, like, say, Yes, already. I don't know. Everybody from the 313, put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Like in my head, I feel like he would be like, No, while he stands up, notice that this, and he would like start going with me. You don't think that would happen though, but I feel like uh -uh. I'm, not, I'm a little bit better than you. Oh, okay. Um, so the two other people we have on site, raise your hand if you think that that's something that he'll be into. No one raised their hand. You didn't even give him a chance. I know, but they didn't. Okay, what about this one? So, um, Another time, Betsy and I were at a very exclusive party where 
young Jack was there, and I saw him, and I said, Betsy, why don't I just, like, casually introduce myself and be like, oh, my God, isn't tonight going down? And Betsy said, if you do that, I will leave you here. I will not send you a car. You will be stranded here. I will not let you into our hotel room, and that will be it. And I was like, I, I thought that was the best opening line. And, and I feel and, like he would and so, laugh. And so that's why I think our podcast – and lifestyle brand is great because I think that there are like two people who resonate with you and like most of them who resonate with me. So I think it's like, it's like a fun, you know, kind of. You know who I do think resonates with me is Eminem and Young Jock. <laughs> you didn't give me my chance with Young Jock, so I got. You're I mean, going to take it. I've got You're another gonna... chance with my guy Eminem. All right. So we. Marshall Mathers. We, <laughs> <laughs> we will be there soon at the Super, at Super Bowl 56. Six. Yep, and then right after that, it'll be NBA All-Star, so make sure you keep up with us on social media. We're going to be posting a lot of great video content, mm -hmm. Almost Rich underscore Almost Famous on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube page, Almost Rich, Almost Famous, A-R-E-F underscore T-L-O-D on Twitter, and newly on TikTok, which we're still figuring out, but we'll get it figured out by mm -hmm. Super Bowl and NBA All-Star. Sure it's will. It's Almost Rich, Almost Famous. Thank you for letting me be a host right there. So glad we got over our fight. Cheers. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>